Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Man, I don't know what they got going on in Boston, but it's something good. They opened up the tea party on the Warriors. <laughs> the Celtics beat the Warriors yes. by 52. The Celtics become the first team in NBA history to win at least three games by 50 plus points in a in a calendar season. Let that sink in for a second. In one season, they've already beaten three teams by at least 50 points. The Warriors have won 13 of their last 16 games, 11 straight, and that comes with no Christoph Przingis. 13 of 16 and no Przingis. And, you know, hey, the Warriors had been playing well. The Warriors had been playing extremely well. The Celtics won by 52, and the game was over at half. If I'm not mistaken, I think the game was, what, 82 to 38 at the half? <laughs> I, I've never seen a uh -huh. score like that, Gil. I mean, I've seen teams get to – I remember, I think, the Phoenix Suns scored 103 or 105 and a half. So I've seen teams yeah. get to, like, the 80s and get to the 90s. Like I said, I remember the Phoenix Suns scored over 100 at the half. But I've never seen a score this lopsided at the half. What, 44 points? Yeah, 44 points at a half, 82 to 38. And it was, you know, they're playing without Przingis. And as I mentioned, the Warriors were playing extremely well. So what did you take away from this ball game? What did you take away from what Boston did and how well they played? And what did you see from Golden State? Uh, it, it, it showed exactly why it's hard to guard people in today's game. Right. There's so much offense on the court that when you try to let someone shoot like today, they went into the game letting Jalen Brown shoot yeah. the ball. Right. The, the guy who makes two hundred and fifty something million dollars. Three hundred. He's the guy. Three hundred and four. Yeah. <laughs> she let we gonna let we gonna let Mr. Three hundred shoot those shots. And he had 19 points. The score was 19 to 21. He had 19 points in the first quarter, which they finished 44-22. Yikes. Like, they got outscored, what, it was 21-21. They got scored, outscored 28-3. And then they finished, they finished the quarter 44-22. It just shows you how much scoring power is, is in the game now. It is. And it, it, it's tough, like you said, but here's the thing. When you let a professional... I mean, just think about what you're saying. You're letting a professional mm -hmm. do something uninhibited. Oh, he's not the best mm -hmm. receiver, so we're not going to guard him. That's basically yeah. what you're saying. Well, he's not their he's <laughs> not their best shooter, so we're not going to guard him. So you're going to, I mean, a guy within, you know, there's nobody within six feet of it. So he's basically, this is a walkthrough for him. This is a shoot around practice for him. Yeah. He's going to knock that more times than not, Gil. A guy of that caliber, you make it seem like you 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 leaving to get a, the twelfth guy on the bench open. He's a starter. He's an all star, and you gonna show you gonna basically. And he said, you know, he's uh, uh, Steve Kerr said our strategy, that was our strategy going into the game with the sag off someone. Okay, Jalen Brown says, oh, I hope other teams use that strategy. That's disrespectful. <laughs> that a man of his caliber that you say, you know what, we're not gonna even guard you. It's embarrassing. I remember uh, when I used to play and, you know, we had Jared Jeffries, you know, on the court and they had double off him and I'll pass it and he wouldn't shoot the ball. And, you know, when you get frustrated, you, you say some things you don't supposed to say. And, you know, I, you know, like, yo, you, you are an NBA player and you letting them come off you to come double me. Oh, come on, man. You got to take some pride. I don't give a shit if you kick the ball in the stand at this point. You better do something because it's just this. You are an NBA player and they doubling off you. Ain't no way you're going to go leave me as an NBA player to go double another NBA player. I'm going to feel yeah. disrespected. Right? And that's how everybody should take this. Ben Simmons, ain't no way you're going to sit at the free throw line right. on me. I'm going to run, jump. I'm, hey, you, gonna, I'm, you better take a charge for the free throw line because I'm coming. Right. And and I, I don't think enough players take pride into shooting. Yes. Right. The fact that you can just leave your man to go. We're going to sag off him like he ain't that dude. Right. And I'm glad Jalen Brown. All right. I got you. Yeah. You're going to sag. Make you pay. Gonna, it's 19. Which, yeah. He got, he's got, he's got to make him pay. I think the thing is, uh, uh, Gil, the biggest problem with 
say Ben Simmons. It's not that Ben Simmons mm-hmm. can't shoot. He's afraid to shoot. And see, if you're afraid to do something, I can't teach you how to do it. You see, if I'm afraid, if yeah. you're afraid of the water, I can't teach you how to swim. If you're afraid of animals, you can't be a veterinarian. If you're afraid of blood, how do you become mm-hmm. a doctor? Ben, I don't know how yeah. Ben Simmons, because he was so great at everything else that, oh, and see, I fought every coach he's had because they kicked it down the road. His middle school coaches, they kicked it down and said, when you get to high school, they'll teach him how to shoot. And when he in, in AAU, mm-hmm. th- when he gets to college, they'll teach him how to shoot. And when they got him, they're like, well, hell, we only got him a year. Hell, they're going to have him for 10, 15 years in the NBA. Let them. So everybody kicked the can down the road. And here we are. We got an NBA player. That that was an all star. That was a rookie of the year. That was an all defensive player who was a, 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 a budgeting defensive player of the year. And he can't shoot no better than I can. And I hadn't shot a basketball in thirty years because he's afraid. Oh. Gil. <laughs> uh, 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 I've watched him three summers. Uh, he can shoot the ball like I, he can shoot the ball. Like the mechanics is good. Uh, feet, uh, his feet placement is good, especially for a left-handed guy. Um, he doesn't have that. Uh, what will go to yes. the side shot like that? Um, I, I think is his his depth perception. I think it's off because you know in a smaller gym. So that happened. That happened. I don't know if that's a, a football thing, but in the yeah. NBA, some players are excellent shooters in small gyms. When you put them in an arena, for some reason, they can't gauge that that basket right. no more, right? So when they get into the game, it's too far for them, so they don't know how to gauge. Which I tell I tell guys, yo, as much as you practice in the the gym, the practice gym, you need to go into the arena right. too. You can you can see how how large and feel the space because that's a real thing, and I think that's actually his problem. Yeah. Because when it comes to shooting, I'm sitting there. I'm like, no, oh, the boy can shoot the ball. Like the, he can shoot the ball, but when in the game, I'm like, what's going on here? I think I think some of the things that, well, considering that, because like <laughs> outdoors, everything is outdoors, so the space is the same outdoors, and maybe it's a little different in the dome. Sometimes you can lose the ball up in the lights, and especially at night, okay, the ball gets you know, you, you, and so that's why we did a lot of walkthroughs. If we played a night game, we always did a walkthrough the night before the game mm-hmm. or, or at some point in time. So to get our eyes used to light, looking up in the light and catching it because it's different. Same thing with the sun. Sometimes you get a glare, but at night it's a little different because there's light that's lighting up the stadium. And so you have to be able okay. to adjust to the ball. And plus it's dark. It's, you know, just like anything, it's, yeah. it gets up on you. So your, your, you know, your vision has to be really, you have to be really focused to play at night because the ball is still the same size. They don't inflate the ball. The ball doesn't begin get bigger so you can see it at night. And so you have to like hone in. I really tried to pick the ball up coming out of the quarterback's hand. Now that wasn't always the case because sometimes I had defenders in in front of me. And a lot of times the ball was coming over my shoulder. So I had to track it and and look it in. But I just think the thing you deal with him is that maybe he, he, and I've seen him in open runs too, and he's shooting the ball, but something happened. Maybe it's stage fright. And you know, some people get on the stage and they're like, and maybe that's what it is with him because at 6'10, and he could and he could do everything. He could handle the ball, he could defend. He had decent post-up game, not great, but I mean, when you're 6'10, it shouldn't be that hard to post up, especially guys that you're <laughs> gonna be posting up because most of them are gonna be smaller than you. But he yep. he lost it somewhere. But the Golden State, they got issues because really they are a, a, a two. You know, I look at Kaminga. Kaminga's really coming into his own, and Steph is Steph. So we don't need to ha- offer an explanation for Steph. He had one of those games, and he hadn't had, and, you know, guys don't have, like him, don't have guys to have yeah. games like that often. Kaminga, I love his game. But when you look at it, what are we really talking about? Draymond is not the offensive threat. Looney plays limited minutes. Moody still is searching. They're still looking for him to find his game. Um, what's the young guy? P- 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 I forget his name, but anyway, but what are we really talking about? I mean, they make it seem like, oh, if they get their stride, they're not going to get their stride. They are what they are. They got one superstar yeah. and that's Steph. Look, uh, Moody's looking for his game. Like your chat looking for Ocho. <laughs> he ain't coming. <laughs> he ain't coming y'all. <laughs> that's it. You, this, this is what you're stuck with right here. Right. The Golden State Warriors 
The only reason we say they have a chance is because That's of it. Curry, right? That's it. Because Curry brings it out of us to always give them yes. a shot. But for the most part, Clay is not himself anymore. He got put to the bench. W Wiggins don't know if he wants to be America or if he want to go back to Canada. Because for the most part, he's there half he the season. He got some personal things. He got whatever. some Gil. We don't know what we got going on. He got some fans going on. Maybe I, I know. I know. Most likely, if it's if it has to do because this happened last year, maybe Pops is is in trouble again. So you know, I'm uh, you know I do you know pray for you know uh, Wiggins. But before this even happened, he right. wasn't doing shit anyway. It's just true. So you know, for the most part, the team is done as we know right. it. You know, Clay Clay can have a game here or there, and every time he has one of that game, mm -hmm. oh here comes Clay. If he can summon this, if he can do this, say for the next thirty games. Hell, if he could, we wouldn't be asking him to do it for the next 30 games. It would be a given. When okay. we ever, before, when would we ever question uh, uh, Clay? We never questioned Clay because we know what he was. We know what he was going to give us. He was going to give us somewhere between 20 and 25. He was going to be 40 plus percent from the three point line. And he wasn't going to be, we weren't going to be out there on a hope and a prayer that he has a great game. There's a reason why he got, he's a four time NBA champion, mm -hmm. he's an all star. And he's been relegated to the bench because of his inconsistent play. And so now you're going to ask him that when he gave you 30 or he gives you 35, man, if he can just do the, if he could, he wouldn't be on the bench. He wouldn't be coming off the bench, Gail. Now, I, I, I think it shows, you know, just for, just for just hoop fans out there, it shows how fast you can lose confidence yeah. in yourself. Because it's not like he does not shoot the same amount the of shots to put in extra work. It's the same routine, same thing. The mental has changed. He's questioned his ability, right? We don't know if it was a move, something happened on the floor, something happened in the media, something happened at him, but he questioned his greatness and you can see the reflection and you can see that it hasn't came back. Same thing that happened to Russ. Russ went from averaging a triple-double, came here, got booed, and we never right. seen the same yeah. Russ again. And people, right? <laughs> so you can see how fast we lose it. You know it I mean? does, but I think the thing is, people like, well, hey, you see how Russ is playing? Well, look, Russ is playing on a minimum contract. The numbers he's giving you on a minimum mm -hmm. contract is fine. But when a guy is making 40 yeah. plus million dollars, the number that he's giving you, that wasn't acceptable. I don't know why people yeah. don't understand that. It's not like, and Russ, Ru what Russ is a top 75 player. He's an all-star, two-time all-star MVP. He's a, a league MVP. His resume is complete. But let's not. But mm -hmm. let's not kid ourselves. Because and he was willing to accept the role in, Cl in the, for the Clippers that he was never willing to accept for the Lakers. They tried it. They Damn. tried to get him to come off the bench, and he was unaccepting of that role. But I guess because he looked at it and says the guys that you want me to come off the bench for aren't better than me that are starting, and so I guess he looked nice. at it. But and so I guess he's looking at it like, okay, James Harden is better at this point in time. James Harden is better than I am. But I think Terrence Mann, Terrence Mann ain't better than, uh, uh, is Terrence Mann? I mean, he gives you more. He can rebound. He could mm -hmm. defend better than Russ. But Russ didn't give the Lakers what he gave. But maybe it's price. Maybe because we looked at, well, he's making $40 plus million plus a year. So you're expecting him mm -hmm. to give you 20, 10, and 8. But how is he going to give you that? Because he's not going to get those shots because LeBron and AD are first and second options. Now, see, I think the problem with, when it came to Russ is this. You know, when he came here, right, he was expected to be the mm -hmm. third option, right? Um, LeBron and AD was hurt for most of that year. He played 77 games. He was the only star out of the three that really played yeah. and held the, held the team up. And because of that, he got the backlash because we wasn't going to say that about LeBron or Anthony Davis because right. they were champions. So we said, all right, we're going to give it to you, Russ. Well, what if him getting at home, it kind of really was unfair But what if he gave us, okay, he used to be, what if he gave us what he gave the Thunder? Give us 30, get a night. Because you said he's the number one option. So there's no LeBron, mm -hmm. there's no AD on most nights. How about he give us what he gave OKC? Now there's your opportunity to give us 28, 30 a night. Yeah, but that playbook is made. That playbook was made for him. This playbook is not made for him, right? It, there's a lot of factors that okay. factored in, and you know. So the following year, he's the only one that played 77, played well, played mm -hmm. well, and then he said, "Come off the bench," and he's like, "To who?" Right. To I who? think that's like, the hardest who thing. Who you want me? 
Yeah. We got somebody else in the in the locker room yeah. that I don't know about, but I'm not coming off the right. of these guys yeah. right here. You know, so you know, coming to the Clippers, it, it, it's not him or Terrence Mann. It's him You're and James right. Harden. Right. He's like, all right, uh, with all of us out here, we're a little too small. We need more movement. Okay, I do it. Okay. And he I'll and he did it, fellas. I mean, you know, it's like, hey, yeah. I don't know if if Ty Lue because of he of his accomplishments, it's hard. To, I mean, think about it. Now we're talking about a guy that's a top seventy five. We're talking about a guy that's an yeah. MVP, an All Star game, an All NBA mm-hmm. player, multiple times. Yeah. And you say, nah, bro, you go yeah. to the bench. He had to, <laughs> and I think the thing is, he embraced the role. He accepted the role. Give him credit. I, I want to. I'll be the first because I did a good job of beating him up because I I didn't think he played well. I thought he played okay. Everybody says eighteen seven and seven, but for that's not. I don't think the Lakers would look. I thought they was. I think the Lakers thought they were going to get twenty plus. I think that's what they thought they were going to get. I don't know. I, you know, what I mean, it's one of those things where I don't think they came into the season really knowing what they. I knew it was going to be a clash because him and Bron they played the same. I knew it side. wouldn't work. Gil, I said, Gil, I oh, went yeah, yeah, and said, look, yeah. I, I'm sorry. You know, guys, y'all know how I feel about the Lakers, but this ain't going to work. It ain't. Yeah. Because both guys need the yeah, ball in their hands. To be who they are, their yeah. absolute best, both guys need the ball in their hands. And yep. you tell You're me right. the team that LeBron James been on, and he ain't got the ball in his hands 85, 90% of the time. And, and then that's why I always say he's the point guard. You know, we, we can try to pretend that he's a small forward. No, he's yeah. a point guard. He always the, the two guards with him is the two yeah. and the three. Yeah, he, he rolled right. So you no, know, Russell couldn't play traditional two, so it right. kind of messed his game. Because up. in order to play with LeBron, you're gonna have to be able to shoot the ball because he's gonna have the ball. So you making all the plays and doing what he did, and let's just say an OKC. Obviously, it was he and KD, but he was the playmaker. KD leaves. He's he's outstanding. He takes his game to another level. Mm-hmm. Even with James Harden, he still found a way to the average twenty five like. 25 and seven. It wasn't like it wasn't like yeah. he was a slouch in there. And James needed the ball. And that was when James was going crazy. That was that was <laughs> James. That was James Hart at his absolute peak. And then he goes to Washington yeah. and that averaged a triple double for a year or so. So for him, he he I, I, I like I, I don't I don't really wear hats, but if I had one, I'd take my hat off to it because it's not easy to be as credentialed as he is mm-hmm. and accepting of a role when you believe, and I believe Russ believed that he's a starter, but he yeah, says, you know what? This is what's best for the team. And every, a lot of, a lot yeah. of Gil, a lot, everybody can't do that. See, everybody, t- you know, this Gil, everybody like, I just want to win. Yeah, but I want to win my way. That, 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 I want to yes. win, <laughs> but I want to win my way. So that's a caveat. I ain't going to tell you that, man. I just want to mm-hmm. be somewhere I can win, but I need to. Yes, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think the difference between it, like where Russ is and where Clay is is I think Clay is where Russ was okay. last year or two years ago mm-hmm. with the Lakers. Him coming off the bench wasn't his idea, right? This wasn't right. his idea. Oh, I need to come off the bench. This was the team's right. idea. So now he has to try to try to accept this role. Right. Um, if I'm if I'm the coach, those last 15 games, I really need to sit back and think about the chess move here. And the chess move here is. Do I shut Curry down, give him his 65 games, but for the most part, shut him down. Draymond shut down, play Kaminga, go. Because I need, if I'm going to bring Clay back, I need Clay mentally focused, mentally prepared, and ready. I ain't bringing it back season. at 24 million, Gil. What, what, two years, 24? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, I'm saying, no, not 24 a year. I, I'm, I'm sorry, um, come on. I already come paid on. it. I already I gave him 200 million. I gave, I gave, I paid I him for what he did. Now I got to pay him for what I believe he's going to do. No, no, no. That's not how it works. Uh, no, this ain't football. No, hell no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> you paying me? <laughs> you paying me for what I did? That's how the uh, NBA works. Damn. So when I get when I get drafted, when I get drafted, the number one pick, 
That's not what I'm doing. That's what I did. What I did from elementary, junior high, high school, college, that's what I was rewarded yeah. for. What I do the next four years, I'm going to get the next deal. So my contract right here is I got a championship then. I 20, so I got to hurt a couple times. So 48 million is cool. I think we get confused sometimes. It ain't about what I'm going to do, goddamn, because whatever I do moving forward, my contract is going to reflect that. Well, I should have played I should. I should have played basketball. Because <laughs> I damn sure ain't how that work in football. Football say, look here, we already paid you. We paid you for those Pro Bowls, those All Pro, those Super Bowls. Now, what do I think you can give me over the next two to three years that's going to ju justify yeah. the compensation that you're seeking? But uh, but yeah. back to the, the Celtics. The Celtics have won their last five games by an average of 30.2 points a game. And we talked about last, last week, uh, on first take, and I said the Celtics are in a, in a class by, uh, of their own. And Stephen and Perk, no, I Perk quick to say, man, you need to watch more games. <laughs> well, I don't know what TV you got, but I want to know who you think, <laughs> like right now, the way they're playing. I'm talking about right now. Now, when it gets to the playoffs, all mm -hmm. bets are off. But the question was right now, and they are. They're the only team right now playing like uh, like an NBA yes. champion. And I mean, from you know how Denver looked last year, that's how that's how Boston looks Denver right look now. Like they